Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Bluetooth device. You are getting an error. Try connecting your device again no matter what you do. Even it is with Bluetooth device or even with your Xbox controller. So without wasting time let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all in the basic step head over to settings menu choose Bluetooth and devices and whichever your device is already connected click on this three dot icon choose option remove device. Then restart your PC and again pair it and check out the issue. And nextly is make sure you have the updated Bluetooth drivers installed into your system. To do so, I have a very simple trick. Go ahead and download this driver identifier to identify your Bluetooth drivers. Launch it into your system. This setup, this driver identifier will automatically find the available updated drivers found to your system. Click on the option scan now and it will start it to scan all the system hardware present in your PC and provide you a list that needs to be updated. So wait for it to finish scanning your system and your devices into your PC. Now once it is completed you can see a web page has automatically opened and below are the list of drivers that needs to be updated. Under the Bluetooth you can see here it is showing that I need to update the driver. So simply click on the option update. Now at this point of time you need to scroll down and here the list of latest drivers available for your system. You need to filter from the date. Here is the latest date available. So click on the option download to find the latest drivers. Now again scroll down and you will find the option of download from HP. So go ahead and click on your manufacturer website. Now here is the option again click here to download from manufacturer server. My system is of HP so I'll go ahead and click on this link and you will be redirected to the official website of the HP. So make sure you download the drivers right from the manufacturer of your Bluetooth device. Click on the option save as, save these drivers into a system and then launch them, install them into your PC and once installed restart your PC and this will fix out the issue of Bluetooth, try connecting your device again. Now if you're having issues with the Xbox controller, go ahead you need to open Microsoft Store. In Microsoft Store, in the search box, type in Xbox Accessories. Choose the very first option and you need to install this Xbox Accessories into a system. Once it is installed, go ahead. First of all, plug in your controller using USB. Again, I am telling you to plug in your Xbox controller using USB and then click on the option to open the Xbox accessory application. Once you are connected, it will automatically ask you to update the controller. So go ahead and click on the option update to update your controller. After updating, unplug it. After unplugging it, go ahead and pair it using your Bluetooth by heading over to settings menu, Bluetooth and other devices, click on more devices, connect your Xbox controller using this Bluetooth and it will completely fix out your issue. Now if these methods doesn't help you fix out the issue, let's start with the advanced troubleshooting steps. In next step, first of all, do a power cycle of your system or your laptop. Go ahead, turn off your system and then unplug all the accessories attached to your system, even the power cable. Unplug accessories, keyboard, mouse, power cable. If you have a laptop and a detachable battery, you need to unplug the battery also. Unplug it from the power source also. Once done, Press and hold the turn on key for 15 to 20 seconds to clear the static charge from your system. After doing so, replug all the accessories, replug the power supply, turn on your system and try to connect your Bluetooth device to fix out the issue of try connecting your device again with the Bluetooth device. Now if this method also will to work out, in next step, right click on start menu, choose option run. Type here services.msc and then hit the enter key. Now here press the B key you need to find Bluetooth service. At my system, there are three Bluetooth services. Bluetooth user service, Bluetooth support, and Bluetooth audio gateway. You need to do the steps I'm showing you right over here, one by one, with all three services. First of all, right click and go to the properties. Here, click on logon tab. Here, first of all, you need to check mark this option, this account, if it is not check mark. Then click on the option browse, advance, find now, and in this list, you need to click on the option local service and click on the option OK. Now hit the option OK again. Now under the password, whatever it is written, 
delete it. In confirm also, conf delete it, hit apply, hit OK, now hit the OK button. Now again press the B key. Now the changes we have done with Bluetooth support service. Again right click and choose option stop. Once the device is stopped, again right click and choose option start. Do the same instructions with Bluetooth audio gateway and Bluetooth user service. Make sure you perform the services as I am telling you right over here. Do the same with third service also, Bluetooth user service. And then make sure to restart your PC. After restarting your system, go ahead and try to check the issue of Bluetooth, try connecting your device again, has been fixed out or not. If this also failed, let's proceed with the next step. Click on start menu and type in event viewer. Click on it to open the application. Now in the left pane, expand application and service log. Now expand Microsoft. Here expand Windows. Now press the B key to find a folder with the name Bluetooth policy. Here it is. Expand it, right click on operational and choose the option enable log. Once you have enabled the log, head over to settings menu, go to bluetooth and devices, whichever your device is, first of all again go ahead and remove the device, after removing go ahead and connect it again. After connecting, if you are getting the issue of try connecting your device again, close the folder, right in this pane it will create a new event. You can find that event by checking the date and time. Here is the current date and time. You need to open this particular log file by double clicking on it. After opening right over here, it will show an error like connection attempted or connection attempted failed. I mean over here you will find a device ID that is failed while the connection. You need to note down that device ID. It should be like 0x414-2ffd093f. Device ID should be like this. So you need to copy or note down the device ID or keep this window open. Then right click on start menu, choose option run, type here reg edit and then hit the enter key. Now in reg edit, in this address bar, you need to paste a path which I will share you in the description of this video. Copy the path from the description of this video and paste right over here by pressing the control plus V key and then hit the enter key. Now under the devices, here are 5 or 6 or up to 10 folders available. So you need to identify the folder which is giving you the error. And to identify the folder, right over here, you will find that particular failed device. The name of the device will be exactly match with one of these 8 or 10 folders available. Once you match that particular folder, simply right click and choose option delete. After deleting the folder, close the edit. edit. Now make sure you must restart your PC. Restarting the system is a compulsory step else it will not work. After restarting the system, go ahead and reconnect your device and this will completely fix out the issue of Bluetooth. Try connecting your device again. So as of now, this is all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.